Hello my wonderful viewers, welcome back to another episode of our hardcore Minecraft series. So, I'm thinking today, because we did a cool little activity at the end of last episode, which kind of gave us insight on how to prioritize things. Now, and by prioritization I mean we got to build a farm. We really have to build a farm. However, to build a farm, we need melons, we need pumpkins, we need a whole lot of stuff. And to get that kind of stuff, well, let's just say we conveniently have a mine shaft located uh, right underneath us. So that is what we're going to explore today. Or at least maybe not all of today, but a good amount of time is going to be spent down there. Hello, Mr. Bat. Oh, there's two of you. <laughs> And grab that guy because we're gonna make farms for mushrooms eventually. What the? These are water source blocks. That's so amazing. So we can't really update many of this, or much of this. Oh, hi, Mr. Turtle. Let's go ahead and clear this out. Okay, so we've officially gone through and kind of cleaned up this tiny little bit of mine shaft. Now, earlier when I mentioned that, I don't think we can update many much of this. Talking about this right here. So if I break this block, it's likely gonna update this water, which is 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 gonna update this water. Oh no. Okay. Oh, hello iron. Well now we have to get this. Should we be able to update this now? Okay, well that's not perfect. It's at least better than what we had before. So yeah, that is why we do not want to break this right here. Because <laughs> we just broke some uh, kelp that was right there. And that updated both of these blocks of water. So they spilled inwards. Which is what would ultimately what we want to avoid because this is really cool. Just having a gateway into the ocean like this. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and grab this coal and then we'll get back at it. I hear a lot of zombie noises, so I'm just gonna dig this way. See what I can find. Oh, zombies. Oh, 
Oh no, that bat. Okay, so I don't know where those mobs went. I keep on doing that. Okay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. scary holy cow there's just a mess of caves This is a legendary cave system. I don't even know where to start. Oh, wow. There's some obsidian down there and everything. What's that? Fetch downloaded chunks. There's some lapis over that way. I want to get my stone pick, but I don't think it's a good idea. That's a baby zombie. Oh my gosh. I don't know what it is about being near lava, but it makes me feel so safe. <gasps> yeah, we're not having that. We're having none of that. Back to the corner of security. So last episode I got a request to put the seed into the description, so the world seed. So it's going to come up on the screen now, and also it's going to be in the description, and I'll go even one step further and post in the comments as well, just so you have all three of those options. It's also available um, in my community discord, which I'll also put a link into the description too. Nope, 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 nope. So we got some Elmer's glue. It's not going to be very useful for us right now, but in the future it will be. 
All right, guys, so with the beautiful sunrise to my back, let's go ahead and start that third person time lapse. Night has fallen upon us once again, and the phantoms are out. So, I hope you enjoyed that little bit of a mini time lapse that we had. However, the phantoms cut it short, unfortunately. I wanted it to go a bit longer than that and explore some more like terraforming and stuff, and like terraform around the mountain, but we just need a bed. We may go on an adventure to find some sheep because it seems like that would be a pretty good idea. Um, we don't have much food, so I can't really go down into the mines right now. We can't leave. So I definitely think Oh, we didn't get any birch saplings. That's super disappointing. It's definitely boat time when the sun rises again. It is daytime, my dudes. And you know what daytime means? Daytime means it's time to find a sheep. Oh, well, that was lucky. All right, Mr. Sheep, how many wool are you going to give me? Huh. Whoa. Looks like a buried ruin or something. All right, so this is our first randomly generated loot chest of the entire series.
That's okay. Come on, Mr. Sheep. There we go. Back to the mainland with you. Wow! We're so incredibly lucky. Let's see what we can get for one emerald. What's up, buddies? Orange dye for one emerald. I'm okay. <laughs> He's trying to go. You got this, buddy. Just keep going. Never give up. <laughs> okay. So, with that being said, we're going to go ahead and shift gears and focus on the farm. We're going to make sure we get some farmland down. They're best friends now. And now that the lead's broken, I guess that's a strategy that you can use to break to get free leads off the... Oopsies. That's probably our cue to sleep. All right, now that we have some leads, I think it's appropriate to go ahead and grab some mobs from the other island and bring them over here. So hey bro, how have the trades been lately? How have the trades been lately? Hey, I'm not giving you attitude, man, all right? No, dude, I'm <laughs> not. You should learn how to take a a hard beating. Hey, dude, did you hear that? Did you hear that, buddy? I think something's calling us in that direction. Yeah, let's go ahead and explore. We're going on adventure, buddy. Let's go. Okay, getting a chicken on that first egg was pretty lucky. So, age threes. I made a comment about age three plants. Saying how they were like are rare to bone meal into age sevens. So far we have four out of five. So I guess it's not all that uncommon. Well, age twos. Okay, so age twos are probably not very common to get to age seven. So I think the most a bone meal can push it through, the most ages it can get pushed through is four. So if you have an age three, you can bone meal it to age seven, but I don't think age twos are very likely to bone meal into age seven. Oh. Well, that just proved me wrong. We're gonna go ahead and say bye to um, the wandering villager because we're likely not going to see him once we come back from going down in the caves. See you, dude. Bye-bye. All right, we are back, cave. This is not good, this is not good, this is not good, this is not good. Oh. Whew. 
Whew. Wow, this area is pretty. Oh, there's some redstone over there. That's exactly what I was looking for. Perfect. Yeah, it's probably best to just cut our losses and head home. I'm going to flatten out one more layer. Um, this part won't be a time lapse, though, just because I don't want too many time lapses in one episode. Just avoid it. Try to avoid it um, feeling a little drawn out. Good night, Mr. Wandering Trader. Good morning! In all reality, though, this guy does not seem to want to leave. And it's not because I put him in a boat, because he's supposed to despawn after a certain amount of ticks have passed, regardless of what condition he's in. Like, if he's boated, if he's name tagged. Uh, minecarted, trapped in a 1x2 high, or just something like that. 1x1x2. One one it doesn't matter what condition he's in, he's supposed to despawn. And his weird, his weird villager noises, his weird muffled villager noises are getting a little annoying. But, I mean, he's not doing any harm. It's not like we're going to do any harm to him. And with that, we have the dirt in place for the farm, which is great. Now we just need to make a bucket and actually get the water in the right places. So this is going to be able to go one, two, three, two, three, four. So that's going to be able to irrigate that much. If you go one, two, three, four, five, put another right there. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That's what that guy's going to be able to irrigate. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I should be able to get that as well. For now, this will do. I have a pretty awesome idea for the tree farm in, uh, at a later time, though. But we got to get some wood somehow, right? Right. And with this amount of progress done, I think it's safe to cut the episode here. I know last episode I was talking about wanting to keep the episodes under 20 minutes. This episode just got a little bit away from me. Um, I recorded a lot of footage without editing at first, and I couldn't really find a good place to end the episode. Um, however, we have officially reached the end of what recorded footage we have. So with that, I think it's safe to say we end the episode. We made a lot of progress today. We made some really good progress on the farm and I have a really exciting uh, design for the farm building that I think you guys are gonna like a lot. Um, make sure to leave some feedback on this episode. How'd everything go? How did the pacing go? Um, how do you like the editing? Is there anything that I can do to improve as a channel? Because ultimately, that's what I'm here to do. I am here to try and strive to make better content on the day to day. 
but alas, I do have a full-time job. Um, so I don't get a lot of opportunities to edit videos. Um, generally, when I'm working like a 12 to 9 or something like that, I can wake up and put like a couple hours of editing into the video. Um, and usually I record when I work at 9.30, 6.30s because I can record in the evening when I get home. Um, so that's kind of my schedule and it's pretty all over the place because I do work retail. So that's kind of a little bit of an insight into my life and my scheduling. But I help like one episode a week or maybe even two at times is going to be good enough. I have a couple of days off in a few days, two days in a row. So I'll probably be able to record a bunch and possibly even push out an episode on that second day off. So I'd say expect an episode soon. Um, and thank you very much for the support and for watching through to the end. All right, guys, I hope you have a really fantastic rest of your day. See ya. Thank <laughs> you.